Hello, church family. Today's topic is who is the most important? Um, this is an age-old question. Even the disciples squabbled about it. I've got two stories today. The first one is from a book, and the second one is something that happened at church. So the first story, in the book, Dancing, oh no, what is it? Teaching the Elephant to Dance, that's it, uh, by Jim Belasco. In this story, Jim Belasco followed a famous heart surgeon around, Dr. Denton Cooley, and he, he was following him around on his rounds. They were en route to the operating room when Dr. Cooley stopped and visited with a man that was mopping the floor for like 10 minutes. And then he dashed off to the operating room. Well, um, Jim Belasco was very curious. So he approached the man and he said, wow, that was a long conversation. And the man said, yeah, um, Dr. Uh, Cooley and I speak often. And Belasco was even more curious. And he said, um, what exactly do you do here at the hospital? And the man mopping the floor said, we save lives. So um, that story got me to thinking about something that happened at church. One morning, I was sitting at the welcome-help desk, and John was sitting on my lap, and Henry was sitting beside me, and Lucas was standing up taking Connect cards out of bulletins that we no longer needed. When a lady came up with a baby in a little seat all bundled up, and um, I didn't even see her, honestly. And Henry looked at her and said, um, this is the help desk. We help everybody. And she said, well, good. Um, I have a question you can help me out with. Which way do I go to the bathroom? Well, Lucas and Henry were so excited to get a question and eager to serve that they just bounced up and took off. And the lady followed them with the baby. In my sternest teacher voice, I said, boys, walk. Um, I noticed that there was a man with her also, and an older boy that I hadn't noticed. So everybody went to the, to the bathroom area, and I hung back. And Lucas said, which one of you needs to go? And the lady said, I need to change the baby's diaper. And Henry, having a brother that wore diapers, said, oh, you need to go over here. And then Lucas said, does anybody else have to go? And sure enough, one more person had to go. And so he showed them that person where to go. So after that, they turned around and zoomed back through the sanctuary so that they could get to their post and not miss anyone else. And once again, I said, um, boys, walk. And I heard someone behind me say, Grandma, run. <laughs> I still don't know who, who said that, but I think I might. So then we go back to the post, and um, I learned during the service that they were visiting a christening. Then after the service, the man came up, and he congratulated the boys on a job well done. And uh, he looked at me and he said, you know, I wish I could find a church like this back at my home. And wow, that just got me. And I just remembered that story when I was thinking about who is the most important. You never know. It's all of us. There's no, um, there's no us and them. We are all important. We are all in this together. Um, everyone has a unique role to fill in our, in our church, in our country, in our world. We are all together and we all are the most important. Have a good week.